Hi folks, um, I just got the new Topaz Impressions 2 and it has a feature called masking which is going to really make this a much more powerful piece of software. I've gone ahead and already done all of the adjustments on this image. Now I'm just going to use the masking tool to make some adjustments. If I didn't do this the video would be too long. This is what I started with, and this is what I have now. Now you have to scroll down to the bottom, and you can see here's the masking tool. Now you have a, a palette here which will show you where you're applying your mask and how dense it is by how black it is. There are three different masking tools. The first one is the spot tool, which I really don't see a lot of use for the way I do my work. And then the other two are, one is color, and I'm not sure, I can't quite figure out how it works, so I'm not going to worry about that one. And then the other one is luminance, which seems to work in a similar way, but dealing with the luminance, not the color. The one I think you're going to use the most is this last one. It's called the brush. Now the thing about the brush is it works like a brush does in Photoshop on a, on a layer masking layer. We can paint on here and expose the original image at whatever level we want to do it. So the reason why this is important is you don't want to have the uh, same amount of detail throughout the whole image. You want to put the greatest amount of detail in the area where you want to draw the eye. So you wouldn't want to have as much detail out here in the island as you would here on the pier with the boat. So what the masking tool allows us to do is to reveal the detail in the original image. Now there are several settings here. The brush tool just seems to turn it on and off. I haven't figured out what else it does. But you've got a black tool, I mean you've got a black and white eyedropper the black will reveal. So if I take the black and I go over there like this, we can see how I have brought the detail out. In this area. And we can see over here that this shows the area that it has been applied to. Now if I click on the white one, I can go in and take it back to the original. and we can see we only have a little bit left here. You're probably not going to want to use the tool in that way. You're going to want to use it more subtly. The radius tool changes the size of the working brush. So as we change this, we can see the size of the brush changes. The strength tool determines how quickly it removes the information. So when I use this, now over here we can see the darker this is, the more it's going to reveal. So if I just do a little bit over here, see it's dark. Now if I take the strength down lower, it's going to take it off slower. And you can see how we have a lighter gray here which helps show you how much you're removing of the top layer so that you can see what's underneath. I would recommend that you use the lower settings so that you can have more control over how much information you want to reveal. Now if you hit reset it takes it back to where you started. Now the hardness brush is just like the hardness brush in Photoshop. It determines it's hard to see, but there's a light red line around the dark red line, and that shows you the feather of what you're taking off. So that gives you a softer edge, so it's easier to blend in what you're doing. So those are the three tools. Now, this color on and off, uh, I think what it does, if it's on, on, I mean if it's on no, 
it takes all of the takes it right back down to your original image color. If you have yes, what it seems to do is protect the color that's in the image and just brings out the detail but doesn't alter the color. I'm going to reset this again. And I'm going to bring it up. Now, how and why would we use that on here? Well, I want to bring the center of interest into the little boy on the boat and his father and the people working on the pier. And I've made the outside very coarse intentionally to help push the eye back into where the reveal detail will be. So I'm going to zoom in so it would be easier for you to see what I'm doing. And we're going to work on over here we'll start over there. So this is about the right size for what I wanted to work on. I want to take the strength down and I want the hardness I want it fairly soft. Okay. So now I'm going to come in and I'm going to keep hitting it. I'm not going to try and take it all off at once because I don't want to take all of the uh, brushwork out. I just want to reduce the effect of the brushwork on the area where I want to draw people's attention. And then I might come out here and just hit some of these outside areas just a little bit. And we can see over here that it shows. Now where it's darkest is where I've taken out off most of the brush techniques that we had applied. Now we're going to come back out so we can see this effect on the whole image. So now we can see that it's pulled the eye in. Now that I'm out here I can see I think I want to put a little bit more detail back in the boat here. Maybe some of these here. Maybe a little bit on the runway. Now if we want to see what it looked like before we can just hit revert. I don't know if we revert back to the other one. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, but we can see how by using this we can bring information in. Now if you say, oops, I've taken too much. I don't want it to be that absolutely clear. You can just click on the white drop and you can bring back your brush information. So this gives you the ability to push it both ways and it gives you the ability to bring back a, a lot of detail in some areas a little bit like we might say I want to see a little bit more detail out here on the island. So I just go back to my black and I'm just going to make one or two little passes across there. Okay, so I picked up some detail there. And I might want to pick up a little detail on this boat so I'm going to take the strength down because I want it to have less detail than the front boats. So then I can just go in and bring up a little bit of detail in these. It's very subtle. So you have to, but we can see how light the gray is here. So that's basically how you use the brush tool. I think that once you begin to use it, you're going to see what great potential it has. I think it's probably one of the most important upgrades in this version of Impressions. Now, the one thing I've noticed working with it so far, this is a completely new program, the way it works. You may not be able to reproduce the same results that you could with the older impressions. So if you want to be able to do both the new and the old effects, you want to hang on. You want to keep that Topaz 1 on your computer because you're not going to be able to create some of the same looks with this one that you could with that one. But this is a much better program as far as I'm concerned. The adjustments are much more subtle. Wish you luck. If you like it, click the like and let me know.